Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Tonight, I'm doing a Saturday night pour. So I have been commissioned by a friend of mine to do a triptych on 24 by 36 inch canvases. And she's going to hang them horizontally, um, side by side. So she's got this huge, long wall, like a balcony in her uh, home. And it's blank. And so she sent me a picture and she loved these particular colors. I'll put that up on the screen for you now to see. So she wants me to try to incorporate some of those colors. So I think I've got a color palette down. I've showed her the color palette. She has approved it. So I have been making small pieces to kind of test out different techniques. I've done ring pours and um, straight pours and I've done a open cup. So I'm trying to find a design that's going to work for a triptych and whether or not all three pieces are going to be close or identical. Meaning, do I want to do three panels of a ring pour or three panels of an open cup core, up the open cup pour. So I'm testing out something today. So today I'm going to do a wrecked ring pour. I did this a few videos ago. It's a piece that I did in Sarah Mack's class at the uh, Fluid Art Experience. And then I came home and recreated that. So uh, I showed her that piece, my friend, and she absolutely loved it and was wondering if I could do something with the colors. So I'll get you down on the canvas and we'll talk about the canvas size. We'll talk about the colors because that's going to be the big trick here. And um, we'll get started, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've got here is an 18 by 24 inch canvas. It's gallery wrapped. It's taped and push pinned on the back. I... Um, have been practicing on smaller canvases like little 16 by 20s and 9 by 12s and I just can't really get a good idea of what I want to do so I figured I would go on up to a little bit bigger canvas and I'm using a good canvas because if I make something that comes out great then that's perfect if it's crap then I can scrape it <laughs> so um yeah, we're going to need about 16, uh, about 15 ounces of paint, but this is a 16 ounce cup. And of course, I always overfill, so I'm just going to fill it all the way up. Um, so that picture I showed you, um, the colors in there were some pinks, blues. Uh, she loves gold, so she wants gold in there, which, you know, I use 24 karat gold and everything. So uh, the colors we're testing out again is going to be light rose in Amsterdam. Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose Light, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, Deco Arch 24 Karat Gold, and we're going to use Creative Inspirations in the Payne's Gray. So I used the Payne's Gray and the Metallic Cobalt Blue in my last painting. Um, we are trying some different things. So this time we are not going to use white and orange. We're substituting pink and we are killing the orange. So that's going to be the trick here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is start off with the light pink first. And some metallic cobalt blue. Some gold. And my paints are mixed with Liquitex Port Gloss Medium. I put one ounce of uh, gloss medium to one ounce of paint, and then the rest is Floatrol. Payne's gray, I love so much, it looks blue. Christmas is coming, yeah. Spotting some sleigh rides and some jingle bells. Tell all your brothers, sisters, mama, papa, too.
some chestnuts on the fire. Yum, yum, delicious cup there. And so what I'm gonna do, just like with my last piece, I am going to wreck this with my chopstick. What I'm gonna do is pour a little pink here in the center. Let's get to pouring. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat, putting on the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. Gonna thin out what I have left of my Payne's Gray. Now we're gonna wreck it. Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something All right, guys, let's start tilting. Merry Christmas, baby. There's something that happens when something's that happens when December ends, when December ends, yeah. Oh, it's Merry Christmas, baby. Guys, I got a phone call and it turned off my recording and I didn't know. I gotta remember to put my phone in airplane mode. Ugh. So let me explain to you what I did. I relayered another cup. I used the same colors, but I used in, in the same order, but I used less of the cobalt blue. I'm talking about when it was time to pour the cobalt blue, I just went and I 
poured a whole lot more of the Payne's Gray. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna wreck this again. Okay, so now this I can see more of the blue, or the Payne's Gray, I should say, the darker blue. So let's tilt this out and see what we get out of this one. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile, my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. Wow, guys, this so much better. So, so much better. I think she's going to like this. Guys, this is so amazing, and I'm so mad you didn't get to see me fill the cup or pour the paint. I'm so mad. I cannot believe this is the fourth time I've had this happen. You think I would learn, but no. I guess you need to beat me over the head with a stick before I get it right. Put your phone on airplane mode. So let me tell you what I did. I layered my cup the exact same way, but instead of using so much of the uh, metallic cobalt blue, I literally took a cup and just went like this with the cobalt blue. That's all I did. Everything else was tilted, uh, filled the cup the exact same way, with the exception of the Payne's Gray. That, I poured a lot each time. I did three layers of the paint. I'm gonna fix my edges. I am going to torch and scrape the bottom edge, and then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. All right, guys, here we got it. I hope she loves this. This is so cool. I tell you, trying to work with pinks are, is very tricky. So I'm going to bring you in. I'll show you starting up here in the top right.
All right, everyone, I'm gonna let this dry. I hope it doesn't crack. There's a lot of paint on here and I tilted it off, but you know how that goes. I'll be right back, I'll show you the dried result. All right, everyone, here's the dried result. Wow, did this dry so cool. This has got Liquitex gloss varnish in it. So now I'm debating whether or not I even wanna put a clear coat over top of this, but this really is beautiful. I know with the Payne's Gray, if I add a little bit of gloss varnish to this, it's gonna brighten that up and really make this piece shine. So I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know yet what I wanna do. So I'll take my time and figure that out, but I'll bring you in here for a close up. I just love this piece. So I showed this piece to my friend. She loves it. It's a little too dark for her. She still wants more pink and gold throughout this. So I've got to come up with another technique, I think. But we love that she loves the idea of the wrecked pour like this. So I got to think about it. All right, guys, so this piece is available for purchase. You can email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. All right, everyone, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.